If you were an Arista in the 18th century, one of the best ways to show off your wealth was by commissioning some gauged brickwork. So that's just this really precise style of brickwork. It was used for the details, for the accents of the buildings, perhaps for windows or for garden posts such as we have here. This one uses a Flemish bond, so we've got stretchers, which is the long side of the brick, and then the headers, the short side of the brick. And you can see it's incredibly precise as if it's being created by a machine. But to create this, you need a very specific type of brick, commonly referred to as red rubbers. They are created in the kiln at low temperature so they're baked rather than burned which makes them much softer to shape and when they come out the kiln the edges are still a bit rough for the work that we're doing here so we need to cut them down and really get some crisp edges and the brick is so soft that you can actually just rub them on the surface. You can also use a bow saw to cut it or shape it and we've got a few moulds here. The S shape is called a cavetto and the rounded one is a bull's nose and they form the accents of the wall here. We've got some examples here of the kind of brick which would come from the roof of Hampton Court Palace. This was Victorian, it's kind of the hawthorn shape and it's got this dark colouring that's probably from the pollution. And we've actually got one of the replacements here which was created by some of the brick conservators who I'm working with. Now, all of these techniques have been used since medieval times and we actually still use them today, not just because we're trying to be true to the historic processes, but because this is the most effective and best way, better than any machine. So once we've got the bricks prepared, we're using a lime putty for the joints. And today I'm working with the Society for the Protection of Ancient Buildings, a kind of conservation charity set up by William Morris in 1877. And we're restoring parts of this garden wall in Kent. And the material we're using for the joints is lime putty. This material is very sculptural. You can actually use it for cornicing, the decoration between the walls and the ceilings of rooms. And you can create it by putting quick lime in water. You can leave it for four months and it has this kind of soft cheese-like texture and then you mix it with sand which makes the lime putty and then you dampen the brick and then apply the putty and then set it in place and although the brick is very soft when it's exposed to the elements it creates this kind of protective layer so hopefully these bricks will be in place for many many years to come